Before I share a scripture with you, let me set it up by sharing an event. The date was February the 11th of 1990. The place was Tokyo, Japan. The event was the heavyweight boxing champion of the world, undisputed, undefeated, Iron Mike Tyson, fighting against Buster Douglas. Mike Tyson is 23 years old. Buster Douglas is 29. Mike Tyson's record is 37 and zero. Fighting an underdog. Mike Tyson used the fight as a warm-up fight for Evander Holyfield. Buster Douglas was trying to make a name for himself and a little money. And here they were now in the middle a boxing match in Tokyo, Japan, February the 11th of 1990. They're in round eight. And Mike Tyson is doing what he does so well. And he knocks Buster Douglas down on the canvas. And the referee begins to count. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Buster Douglas struggled, staggering to his feet. But he made it to his feet before he could get to ten. And Mike Tyson came over to give the finish, final knockout punch and finish the job. But Buster Douglas was saved by the bell. The bell rang and sent the gentlemen to their respective corners. Somehow something happened after the eighth round. When Buster Douglas came out in round nine, he was a different person. He had a new energy about him. And he fought with everything that he had. And he upset boxing history when in round number 10, he had a TKO and knocked Mike Tyson out. Reporter interviewing him afterwards said, what is it that you did differently after the eighth round because you were a different man in round number nine? And he said, my mother was my biggest fan. She invested in me and she took me to the gym. And she got sick before I could get here. And she died. And the last thing she told me was win this fight for me. Why? Why did you win this fight that nobody on the planet gave you? Mother. mother. In what mother. way? God bless her heart. Let him go, Larry. Let him go. And when he came out in round number nine, he was fighting with a why. It was why power better than willpower. His willpower had waned, but his why power kicked in and took him to another place. And it was William Barclay that said that there are two great days in a person's life, the day that we are born and the day that we discover why. And the day, one of my favorite scriptures, Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plan that I have for you, declares the Lord. 
plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and the future but now listen what verse number 12 says then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you and then listen at verse number 13 you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart God says I know the plans I'm not guessing about it I know the plans and I'll let you know if you'll pray and seek me with all of your heart like you're going for broke like your life depends on it so I want to talk for just a few moments about finding your why Thank you so much for watching. This is Rick Sincere with MTNV Sports, y'all. Listen, The Voice does this every week in our timeouts where he gives you some homework, right? Well, here's my homework for you this week, or he says, um, here's the play, right? Because this is a timeout, and in the timeout, you get a chance to gather your team together and give them a play to go into the game, right? And so this is what timeout is for. This is your play, right? This week, find your why. Find your why. It's really simple. Find your why. And if you already know your why, walk in that purpose and make 2023 amazing. If you don't know your why, ask God, why? Why am I here? What am I here for? If you're in a particular situation, why? What is what's the why? And then use that why to propel you and move you forward through your year. In this sermon, man, it hit me for real, right? But in this sermon, he also talks about another man who fell off of a carnival cruise ship. 28 year old man who fell off a carnival cruise ship into the dark and nobody knew where it fell and he was pedaling for 18 hours and when they asked him about you know why right well, what propelled you through 18 hours in the dark and he said that it was his nine year old daughter and he knew he had to make it back to the ship for her 18 hours dog pedaling that's crazy man but you can't give up and he didn't give up because of his nine-year-old daughter he wanted to make it back for her that was his why what is your why and what's gonna push you through the dark to get to where you need to go god bless you we love you we pray that you have an awesome 2023